And meantime, community groups are calling on the city to provide more rent relief in next year's budget. They say too many families are in danger of becoming homeless due to the pandemic. 10 News anchor Mary McKenzie is at City Hall where they staged a protest in shock today. A protest drawn in chalk here on the City Hall Plaza, hoping to get the attention of the City Council before their meeting today to discuss the city's budget. The mayor's budget continues to spend a majority of general fund dollars on policing. The police department's budget is increasing by tens of millions from last year. While we've had to fight for departments providing core city services like libraries, parks and code enforcement, a rally drawn and staged by 22 community-based organizations making up the Community Budget Alliance. They're calling on Mayor Faulkner and the San Diego City Council to approve a people's budget, which includes $70 million in funding for emergency rental assistance. What's currently allocated, advocates say, is woefully inadequate, $10 million when there are 140,000 families estimated to be at risk of homelessness during the current economic and health crisis in a city that was already facing a crisis of affordable housing. So the 140 figures on City Hall Plaza represent that 140,000 number. With the budget review process well underway. We feel sort of desperate because this is really the last chance. We can't not do something because too many people are at risk. Too many families, too many children. At City Hall, Mary McKenzie, 10 News.